Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to Ferret Face Fail Productions. So, still out here in uh, the Golden Horseshoe area. Doing some single track. My brother kind of didn't want to do any more harder single track stuff, so I'm just going to try to re rate you out on something myself. <laughs> it's all good. He was kind of kind of real exhausted from yesterday, and today we went out for a little bit. It was just a bit of a struggle bus, so it's okay. Got to kind of find people's limits and don't push them too much. Okay. Uh, was that it? Oh, kind of lame. GH67, pretty lame. That's a hiking only trail. I was trying to do some of the single track I haven't done before. Ah, there it is. I was like, that couldn't be it. 67. It is raining out here. That was an interesting save. I gave the gas, and that actually helped me. Very slippery. Probably should have quit while I was ahead. <laughs> and these Michelin Enduro mediums do not like wet. Wet dirt's fine, but... Wet root, wet rock. I know it's always slippery anyway, but... Damn. I think a couple extra teeth on the back is gonna be necessary for some hard, real hard, slow stuff. I remember doing this one. This might have a log in the middle here in a bit. Visor dropped. And now it's hailing. This is fine. That's the dugout. Whew. 
Make sure you guys are cleaned up. Well, today has turned out to be interesting. This is a freaking slip and slide. slow with a little bit of clutch and gas the torque down low is uh, very manageable it's a much smoother torque if you're looking at two stroke versus four stroke it's just a lot smoother my uh, my beta 390 will uh, absolutely torque its way out of anything but it's a lot more explosive and sudden maybe unpredictable is the right word Those were slick and I decided I didn't want to gas it through it, which was a mistake. Oh, they cut my log. This was where the tree down was, I believe. There was a go around too. Okay, make sure you guys are still clean. I dumped my DR350 so bad onto that log. Well, 
Well, we went from hero dirt to mud bath real quick. I can tell you guys that this is a lot more pleasant on this trail than having my DR350 on it. What a slippery mess. I guess at least I got one single track in. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna hit any more of that. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty sketchy if I'm honest. Whee! Coming down the mountain's probably gonna be real interesting too. In my first hundred miles of experience with this bike, freaking awesome. Absolutely awesome. I, I mean, what else? Like, the more I've ridden this bike, there's a few nitpicky things, you know? Um, I don't know, the height's still a thing for me. I, you know, and that's subjective, so height's, a, height's just always a thing. But if I'm honest, the, the real... The, I'm trying to think of some real downsides or things I haven't liked about the bike. The weight's been good. I like that it's got, you know, grab handles in the rear. That's GH87. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... Where I'm looking to go. I just haven't seen a lot of things that uh, I, I dislike a lot about the bike. I think the bike needs to be geared a little bit lower from the factory. Uh, two teeth up in the rear, 100 P. I don't think uh, changing the front would be a little distracting. Uh, changing the front sprocket would be a little drastic, I think. The rear, I think, is not too bad. Uh, so two teeth up, I think it'll really put the, the gear set where it needs to be to just kind of be happy, you know? Especially 
see if you're gonna be slow and turbo, but why else do you buy a two-stroke, really? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I use a little bit more clutch than I'd like to, to get the front up. I want just a little bit more torque to the front wheel. I mean, it's still totally doable. It'll log all the way down, but. And let's keep in mind here, I still don't think I've gotten the jetting quite perfect yet. I'm still running that 40 pilot because I don't know, it still feels good. I'm afraid to change it. <laughs> but we'll see. A 38 might be might be better still. I like the fat bottom end. Them fat bottom end girls as they say. Oh man, I'll tell you what guys. This turned into an adventure. It was slippy and slatty. All right, guys, I had to unplug my mic and plug in power, so. Um, we are at this point, which I don't know where my camera stopped, so. This, uh, this is kind of where I'm at with my life today. It's a river. It's very, very slick and rocky. And holy balls, dude, let me tell you what. I'm just gonna take the mid. I don't really want to, but this is this has gotten a tad bit scary, but it's not uh, the end of the world, as they say. Bruh. I am, I am wetter than Miley Cyrus at a BBC party, man.